I knew Count Burgley's was formidable, but I clearly did not give the man enough credit. I thought for certain he would have fallen by now, and yet here we are. If we're handing out credit, Claude deserves some as well. Maintaining a siege for this long takes its own toll on morale. Yet his troops remain disciplined, well-positioned, and ready to engage us. One advantage to a siege is mobility. They can deploy soldiers up and down the line as needed to keep the upper hand. In other words, they are outfitted with many highly mobile units, which means they can respond quickly to enemy reinforcements as well. If we rush in blindly and are driven back, it would likely break our ally spirits for good. Not even Count Burglies would be able to rally them again. Surrender would be the only option. <sighs> Why are they wavering now when we're so close? We're not looking to win the war today. We just have to break the siege. We should attack their lines at multiple positions. We don't need to win the battle. We just need them to break formation long enough for the Count and his troops to get out of there. Well, this is new. You are not often one to give voice to your opinions on tactics. Still, you have struck the proverbial nail on the head. It is exactly how we must proceed. Then it's decided. I look forward to your exploits on the battlefield. Today, we free our Imperial allies and reward their continued valor in the face of impossible odds. Another day, another stage to conquer. I'll do what I need to. Just turned me loose already. Ready any time. I will show you true nobility.
Count Burglies controls the stronghold in the center of the plane, but the enemy has him completely cut off from aim. Our goal is to break the city so he and his troops can evacuate safely. So much for that. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. So, what should I be doing? Sure, let's try it. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches. Oh, here I go. No, but they must learn who they're up against. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. I'm on it. No, just leave it to. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. We're securing a surrender before reinforcements arise. Well, you all know what to do. Engage the enemy. I'm itching to show what my muscles can do. Now, who wants to be first? There's no time for the delicate approach. Let's tear into... I stand with my friends and will not permit you to pass. From all sides! There can be no victory this day if we do not rescue both Burglies and his troops. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, right! Wait, that's Raphael! Don't kill him, please! Let me talk to him first! Our negotiations with Margrave at Still ongoing. Perhaps we can win Marianne over to our side. Charge and attack! I thought I might find you here, Lawrence. Yes, has lost her fights with the Empire now. But what of you? Is this truly where you wish to die? I know you hate this kind of thing, Marianne. So please, put down your weapon. No! I can't abandon my friends when they all fight for their lives. What does it matter if I die? Talks with Margrave Edmund will go much better if you surrender here. I may not consider it. You're right. My adoptive father would want me to lay down my arms, not my life. Your Majesty comes to rescue us. I know your spirits are weary, but rekindle them now with whatever spark of hope remains in your soul. Ugh, this is rough. My body's crying out for a break. You don't have to do this, Raphael. Not a problem. I've got this. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, what? Think about Maya. She needs you, remember? Hey, 
no fair. But, uh, all right, I'm in, but only because it's you. We have broken through. Continue pushing. We must secure an exit for our allies. Taking down those strongholds will drive a wedge into their feet. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about. I'm on it. No, let's move. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Here I go. They must learn who they're... Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. So... What should I... Sure, let's try it. I think this will go well. I'm prepared. There are two strongholds. We must deploy our forces with cleverness to protect them. Alright. Here they come. But I came here to fight, and I won't back down! Bolt. Also, Delia has already offered us their allegiance. Which means Lysithia is here of her own accord. to hold this line, so why don't you just leave, and we'll call it a day. <laughs> now, charge and attack! <laughs> Please stand down, Hilda. It would bring me terribly to you. Take your life. Then maybe you should stand down, because I'm not going anywhere. Please, stand down, Lysithia. There's no reason for us to fight. I don't remember asking your opinion. Please take it for ourselves. heard about what was done to us. And as one who understands that intimate, I ask you to join my call. You too? Yes, all right. I'll hear you out. Uh-oh. You're not here with Okay. No <sighs> wolves. Just scream already, will you? Get out of here while you still can! Oh, I will, Balti. Right after you explain why you're fighting for the Empire. You know Holst is never gonna let you live this down. Get out of there, Hilda. We can't lose you. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Now then, if they'll just be kind enough to let us escape this way... To think you would die when freedom was so near... If these are at hand, I will avenge you! Our allies are nearly within reach. Clear out the enemy soldiers in those... Would you give them some support? Would you give him from <laughs> The siege is coming apart at the seams. Deploy the reinforcements. Fill those gaps. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. They're trying to 
shore up areas where we thin their ranks. Don't let that happen! A detachment of white mages stands ready to mend our wounded comrades. Ah, but it does my heart. Good to see you. Pray, take care of my troops. Now, heal Count Burglies' forces. Pay attention now. Thank you. Well met, my son. For the first time in my life, I thought my end had come to me. Yeah, I've never seen you in such bad shape. You're dead. Watch this! It surprises me to see you among the ranks of my rescuers. Do not be happy with the wrong idea. I am helping the Empire, not me. None shall surpass me! I'll do what I must! They're wide open! Push through! You must reach Count Burgley! <laughs> and crush their reinforcements! Begin! The Sky Spirit watches over me. So... What should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. I'm on it. Let's move. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I've got this. To stop them! <laughs> I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on! My turn at last! Stop and rest for a few years. Perseverance have been rewarded. The way is open. Move as one and defend the Count and his soldiers as we go. You think I'm just gonna let you slink out of here? Ha! <laughs> I'm already two steps ahead. Looks like we're off. They cut off our escape and... Oh no. Look who's with them. We won't I'll put a dent over. in Gerald's company with the numbers he has. Got a friend in trouble. Be 
begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see... Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up with. So, what should I be doing with it? Sure, let's try it. I vote we rush Claude's main position instead. It would indeed catch him by surprise. But do we flank from the left or right? Either way, let's choose a path and clear out anyone foolish enough to stand before us. Sorry to cut your escape short, friends. is Aloise Rangel, and by my honor, you will go no further. Stand this no longer. I'm falling back. None shall surpass. Watch this. Coming for us? My turn. for me personally, your majesty. You can thank me once we're clear of this place. Now ready your troops for retreat. do to have you slip our grasp now. The Ashen Demon. 
clever of Claw to keep this little surprise for the moment it would matter most. I'll handle the mercenary. The rest of you press on. Don't stop, no matter what. I can't you down. Hit them with all you have! Leave nothing on the battlefield! No! I've got this! Count Burgess is keeping the Ashen Demon busy, which means now is our chance to strike at Claude! The battle's lost if they've made it this far, but maybe I can still take out an officer or two. I'm sad it's come to this, Lawrence. And yet, even as you speak those words, you seek an opening to strike with me. I know you well, Thor. My work here is unfinished. This monster back Take forever! Rate. Forget the demon! Take out the commander! Never too late to do the right thing, Ignaz. Come back to us. Stop trying to sway me, Claude. It's not going to work. Claude, can't you just play nice until I achieve what I set out to do? Funny. I was gonna ask you that. But I'm guessing the answer's the same for both of us. Not bad. So you're the one who's messing up all of my clever plans. Hey, I just work here. But you're gonna make a nice trophy for the Emperor. They've got me cornered. Better think fast. That all you got? Death is coming! That's all I can take. Let's see if our new mercenary friend is worth all that gold. I must be getting old. Enough! I'm falling back! Which just leaves the Ashen Demon. We're close to the finish now, so let's take whatever time we need and do this right. I've got this. That clash with Count Burgess has left the demon weary. This could be our best chance to crush that pet for good. How many times have they fought? Either way, this will be the last. Out of the way! I got you now! Such vexing arrogance for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labored to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life! <laughs> you cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! You can run all you like. <gasps> Why do you fight me? <clears throat> Why so this? I'm sorry, Claude. They were too much for us. It's all right, Hilda. Well, it's not, but I knew this was a possible outcome. 
I was hoping the terrain might let us hold, but against that many soldiers deployed that skillfully, it just wasn't enough. You sound sad. It's a little weird. Can you blame me? Look at how many people have died because I decided to fight this war. <sighs> Maybe I should have just let the Empire have their way. My father and the others never would have accepted that. You had to throw everything you had at the enemy at least once, or they'd think you were a coward forever. Wow, Hilda. I didn't think you'd picked up on all of that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Too bad everything I had still wasn't enough. Well, the next step is to put our heads together and figure out what to do next. I hope you don't mind if I lean on you and that brother of yours for support. Lester's roundtable is overdue for some big changes. Again, Your Majesty. You've got my deepest thanks for rescuing us. And since my lack of foresight's to blame, let me apologize again for what happened. I will not hear of it, Count Burglies. Had any but you been in command, I would be collecting corpses right now instead of thanks. I failed to see what Duke Regan and Count Gloucester were plotting. The blame is mine alone. So I will hear no more self-reproach from you. Go now and rest those weary bones. I'm grateful for the kindness, Your Majesty. Honestly, this experience shook me more than you might realize. I never would have made it through without the brave men and women who served me. They're the ones who deserve your praise. Understood. I will see they are duly rewarded. Hubert, summon Monica and have that put in writing as an official decree. And now, I want to know how we are faring with our efforts in the kingdom. For the faith! I am stuck. No more. One star. Hey, a new who? I'm can't wait. I have Here, I'd thought we won. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. <sighs> what am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. And hey, the Ashen Demon's a mercenary, right? Might be best for the Empire to toss some coin their way and put the rivalry behind us. You want to hire that thing? Seriously? Fighting side by side with the Ashen Demon. Are you mad? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. 
We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. A glove does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fotlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! wretch down with a stroke. Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Wait. Didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around and get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. Hubert, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Let me apprise you all as to what is going on. As you know, our Talons have been sunk in our little alliance problem for some time now. But now we must deal with the Kingdom, which has sent an army to claim the heads of Count Roe and any others who came over to our side. However, Roe is seated at Aryan Road, the fortress city. A citadel as hard to crack as Fort Mercius. Ah, Aryan Road. The Silver Maiden. Seems sorta of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. Yeah, I still don't get it. Our reports indicate that despite the strength of the Kingdom's army, 
they are still struggling to take the fortress city. But, given enough time, they will. Unless we send reinforcements. Therefore, we must direct our attention to the kingdom once more. Will this constant bouncing between the kingdom and alliance not take its toll on our soldiers? Who said we were taking our entire force? We will depart for Garigmok with elite troops, then collect fresh units before proceeding west. Simultaneously, I plan to have Duke Garrick summon the Western Lord soldiers and march toward the fortress city. We will join up at that point and strike at the Kingdom's main force together. What say you to that? I would say it is the ideal strategy, at least on paper. Okay, let's keep our optimism in check here. I mean, speaking from personal experience, nothing ever turns out the way you want it to. Should we be having concern? If the plan is good, we will find success. And the Alliance? They may attempt another one of their schemes while we're distracted. They will not. Her Majesty is taking a measured approach to resolving matters with Lester. Count Burgley's is worn as thin as they are. We will have him set up camp at the Great Bridge and continue negotiations from there. To our advantage, Gloucester's new Count Lawrence has decided to join the Empire. Additionally, the daughters of Houses Ordelia and Edmund have been given leave to fight by our side. Besides, from what I hear, the Round Table is too busy chewing itself apart to start any more trouble. That leaves only the Knights of Saros to contend with. The Minister of Religious Affairs will handle them. My father? But he's not capable of facing the Knights! I let the Ashen Demon outmaneuver me in the last battle. But that won't happen again.